Hi everyone, it's Jojo. Um, today I wanted to show you my paper cutter from Tamu. I am an affiliate with Tamu, so um, I will be doing some reviews and thought I would come on here and just give you an honest review of this paper cutter. Along with, um, I have printed some digitals from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Um, I wanted to show her my support and you know, I've seen the whole junk journaling world pull together to try to help her out. So, um, her kits are just awesome. And she's such a lovely person. Um, I just, I think it would be great um, if you could go over there and check out her Etsy shop and give her some support. I will leave a link down below under my Tamu links um, for a link to her Etsy site or Etsy shop. I purchased... Um, a few of her kits and I really like these circles these will make I think great dangles and this one did go off the page but that was my fault I didn't do my settings right so I apologize for that but aren't these just awesome I really like them I don't know if my camera is picking them up but they are just beautiful florals and then course I had to have her butterflies um, you have to have butterflies and these are so pretty again these do not normally print off the page that's my fault so I wanted to let you know that um, I didn't fit them to page I just printed them I didn't think about it before I started doing my video and you know I noticed that I I goofed so I will go back in and reprint these but I wanted to bring them on here and show you. Again, her shop um, on Etsy is Shabby Dabby Doodle. Um, thank you, Tina, for everything that you do. Really appreciate you. So I'm going to start out by showing, since I showed her pages, I want to um, show this. It's made out of plastic, and the color is pink, in case my camera doesn't show color well. Um, it does have this piece on the bottom, and the piece does um, kind of lock in place here, kind of, where it doesn't move. So you just lift it up and move it out, and it'll lock in place here. <clears throat> and the lengthwise here goes to eight and a half inches. So this will not cut my paper is eight and a half by eleven. So it will not fit this way. Um, so it's just the eight and a half. And I wanted to show you the blade. The blade moves smooth. But when you get it down here to the end, it does lift out. Oops. Get on camera. A lot of these um you know, you have to put it in here and you have to fight with it to get the blade in or out. This one here, you just set it down. So you have to be careful because if it's down here and you pick it up, it will go flying. <laughs> Speaking from experience. So I'm going to move it the other way. I'm going to see if I can line this up. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, I think that I have this lined up. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I don't. Cuts good. I'm going to cut some of this edge down here off. It's me at this angle that I'm sitting. I have a hard time seeing. Plus, it's a new um, a new cutter for me. But yeah, that's really good. Um, I'm pleased with that. Really pleased. It'll come in handy, and it's small. And I can just throw it in my bag when I go somewhere if I need to take it with me. So, I'm going to... I'm going to decide which ones I want. Get out my handy dandy scissors. Um, 
for cutting some more of this. So I think I'm going to go, this is a one and a half inch punch. And I think I'm going to go in here and get this pretty rose. My punch is just a little bit smaller than this printed. However, I think that if I would have printed to fit page, but it's okay. Um, let's see. I think over here, cut this down a little bit. I think I want this one. I see this one is fitting perfect. So maybe that one there was just a little bit bigger. Because they're supposed to be, I think, one and a half, one inch, and 1.7. So this one here might have been just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to grab my ink. And find my little bobber. Sorry about my arm, everyone. So I'm going to just... Ink these. And then I have one that just didn't print all the way because of my printer. So I should have... Yeah. Ink up. I'll move these over. Get this back out here so I can show you again. I'm just going to cut down here. Um, yeah, I like that blade sharp too. I, it was me. I just didn't lift it. But, um, I really like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to punch two more. Sorry about my punch. It's loud. I'm going to punch two more and I'm going to glue these. Look at me. I'm just a mess today. I'm going to glue these two together. These are lovely um, pieces from Shabby Dabby Doodah. I really like them. I think they're really pretty. I was going to say glue don't fail me now. So what I'm going to do is turn these into a little dangle. So I'm going to glue these two pieces together. I hope my eyes don't fail me. I'm find out what's top and what's bottom. I think I'm going to set it like this. I do believe I will. And the reason I was trying to figure out which way to set it is because I have another one. Here, let's see on the paper. Uh, it goes like this right here. And then I'm going to put this one. Watch me get it upside down. I'm good at that. Sometimes I'll leave it upside down and other times it drives me crazy so I have to pitch it and start all over but kind of like it setting like that I'm just gonna make a small easy quick dangle um, to hang off of a book or a paper clip put my glue back here 
have my paper patch and I use the bottom of this. I just want to kind of make sure that those are together. And then since I have white edges around it, I'm just going to um, quickly ink that up again. Probably going to have to get me some more ink soon. Let's see if we get over here. Yep. Okay. That was easy enough. So now I'm going to take my, um, at this point, if I was um, going to coat this with something, I would do that right after I poke my hole in here. I think I'm going to go right there with it. So I have a tiny hole. And then from Tamu, I got this cool. Let me lay some of my other stuff out here. These I did not get from Tamu. But I got this cool box. Sorry about the glare. Um, with awesome findings in it. And any other time, I would go ahead and use some fingernail polish or glossy accents. Something to make this shiny. But sometimes you don't want them shiny because you're putting them in your book. Um, then on these, I have some that are... I think I'm going to go with the gold one. I think that I could probably paint those. I might do that in, a, in another video, um, just to see. So I'm going to open my jump ring, and I'm going to fight this. <laughs> yeah, I said fight it to put it on here. And one of my dear friends sent me some really awesome little bling, and these will hang. So I'm going to just... I'm not going to do it. Let me close this one. Now, when you open these, you pull them towards you. You don't push them together. Um, you know, you don't push them so they go together this way. But you pull it until they go together like this. Then I think I'm going to take a smaller jump ring. I'm going to open this one. Slide this on here. And then I'm going to slide it around this jump ring. And push it closed. And all I have to do now is take one of my bulb pins. Put it up under the first jump ring there and close it and I have a cute little dangle. I hate that my camera is not um, doing well. She's sick people. <laughs> She's sick. But there, um, cute little dangle. I love that. I think it turned out really neat. And if you wanted to, you could add bling to these. Um, more bling around them. But we will do one more, I think. I'm just cutting this. Um, so I can get... I want this one right here.
I'm just putting my um, putting my paper punch. I can't talk and work at the same time. I'm terrible. And then I'm going to punch two more out of here. And let's see, what other one? You know, I'm thinking I'm going to do the back with this one because it's just a little bit different. I'm going to put my punch under here until it looks to be about centered. And just punch it out. Now you could cut these out with scissors, but I am no good at cutting circles. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> they look like I don't know what whenever I'm done with them if I try to cut circles. I think that turned out really nice. So I'm just putting glue on my white piece. I'm hoping to get my room set up different soon. So that way the glare isn't like it is. But I'm going to um, put those two together. Let's glue this one. I decided that I'm going to ink it afterwards. Sometimes I ink it all first and ink each thing separate, but um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to kind of just flow with it and I'll do it last or next. I've been looking um, for another camera. I'm going to go like this. I, got, I had gotten another one, but it only lets you record for like 29 minutes and it shuts off. And I just don't want to be recording and it shut off on me. So I'm going to take my little paper punch and punch me a little hole. Oh, about right right there and if I were going to um, put glossy accents or something again this is the time that I would do that so I will ink this up I have been making um, quite a few things using bling and I can't hardly wait to come and show you all. It's like a surprise. But they're turning out so much prettier than I thought. And I'm not normally one to use bling like I'm using now. But uh, oh I just love the little flat backs and diamond shapes and rhinestones and gems. They're just... They're awesome. I'm turning more into a shabby chic kind of person. <laughs> I still like my grunge, but I'm liking the shabby chic look. So this, I'm going to use yellow to match, match my pretty roses. And I need a... A jump ring and on the jump rings I use um, if I use two of these see if I can get them just right I put one on one side of the little let's see. I don't know if this paper will, will show up nope 
I thought maybe it would. Let me try the back of one of these. See if it'll hide all my stuff out here so you can see what I'm doing. Right here is my little um, opening. So I grab this with both sides and I pull my right hand towards me and push my left hand away till I get it open. And then I put my piece in here. So I have to do a little bit more. Pull with the right, push with the left. And then I get that on there. Now I'm going to pull with the left and push with the right towards each other. Oops, went too far. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to take another jump ring. And I'm doing the same thing, except I'm just using my hand. But I'm going to go in here, and let's see. What do I want this time? I think I'm going to go with this gold piece. I think I want it on this side. And then I'm just going to push it back together. And then you just take your um, ball pin and you put it in your ring and fasten it and they will hang. And there you have two, two dangles. Yeah, my dangles want to flip to the other side. <laughs> See, did I get it? Gee whiz, look at me. Here it is. And then there's this side. And that dangle keeps wanting to come back over on that side. Um, so it may be able to. Let's see if these are double-sided. Looky there. It's a double-sided Bling. So here it is on this side. And if I push it through the ball pin, it is on this side. So how about that? Some double sided dangles. So that's kind of cool. So I hope you like this video. Um, Please remember to check out um, Shabby Dabby Doodle's Etsy site. Um, <clears throat> she can really use all of our support right now. And um, please like and subscribe to my channel. And please check out Tamu. They're a really awesome place to get your, um, your supplies and your tools really um, cheap. And they're, they're nice. They're easy to work with. And... Um, they take about 10 days for you to get them back, you know, after you order. But um, if you're, if Tamu is late getting it to you, within 24 hours, they have you um, $5. They give you $5 when they're late. Let's see if I can get those laid out. Look, they want to go every which way. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for subscribing and um, joining my channel. Um, have a great day. And remember to be kind to one another. Bye-bye.